son. How you doing? This is Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. All right, here we go. A gypsum man flown to Melbourne Hospital after a magpie attack leaves him with injuries to both eyes. Ooh, man, that doesn't look good. A Victorian man has told of the horrifying moment a magpie attacked him, leaving him with damage to both eyes. Business owner James Glendeman, 68, was having an ordinary day eating his lunch at a park bench outside of the Gippsland Center in Sale, Eastern Victoria, when he was suddenly swooped by the bird. I sat down at a bench there and the magpie came up and I started talking to it because I liked them. Well, he must have pissed them off. <laughs> it must have been something you said, was it right? And it looked at me and I didn't give it any food. Well, there you go. So it just attacked me. First, it struck my left eye, and when it landed back on the ground, I didn't drop my food, and so it attacked me again in the right eye. Wow, he got beaked into his left eye, and he didn't drop his food? <laughs> That's something that is amazing. He said the incident, which occurred on Tuesday, happened in a matter of seconds. But the injuries were serious. Yeah, I guess there's that bastard right there. <laughs> there was some blood that was dripping at one stage and it covered my eyes. I could barely see, but I managed to find my car and I rang triple O. After the paramedics arrived at the scene, they took Mr. Glendeman to the Central Gibson's Hospital where the doctors made the decision to fly him to the Eye Ear Hospital in Melbourne. It turned out there was no actual damage to the right eyeball itself, but the area around it was very inflamed. But the magpie seems to have penetrated the cornea in my left eye, so the doctors repaired that. And that's the one that he did not drop his food after getting beaked in the eyeball. My vision in both eyes are blurred at the moment, but I think doctors are confident that when my, my sight will come back. All right, I'll put the links in the description on these so you guys can follow up, but whoa, magpie attack. All right, on to our next story. Queensland's Woolworth customer bit into and swallowed a dead frog mixed into a stir-fry salad packet. What is going on down in Australia? Shoppers who bought a prepackaged bag of stir fry mix from a Queensland Woolworth store say they bit into and consumed a frog, which was in the food. Kathy McGee, 61, from the I Ipswich area southwest of Brisbane, told Nine News Australia that she had bought the Rainbow Vegetables pack from a Woolworths store around lunchtime on Sunday and prepared it for dinner. It was then that her 62-year-old partner, Tony Palmer, said he thought he had bitten into a bad piece of cabbage. <laughs> he was trying to gnaw on it and he's a and he's bit a bit off and he swallowed it and he said, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't taste like cabbage. And he pulled it out of his mouth, and he realized it was a frog. Okay, Mrs. McGee said, now, I got a couple questions about Mrs. McGee. She's the one who prepared the salad. Are we sure it came from this Woolworth, or did Mrs. McGee pull it fast on? He pulled the whole frog out, and there's a leg missing, and he's quite convinced that the party's bit off and swallowed. Both of us were quite sick and realized what he'd just consumed. We were peeving. <laughs> they both ran to the bathrooms to be sick after finding the animal. And she called Woolworths the following morning using the consumer information complaint number listed on the package. The number took me to a menu for online order. So I rang the shop that I bought it from and explained my situation. 
They passed me on to a man from Produce. He asked me if I could send a statement and photos to his email address, and he would pass it on to the appropriate people. Sounds like the old runaround to me. Within half an hour of that second phone call, the same man called Mrs. McGee back and said all Woolworths could offer them was a refund and replacement package of stir-fry mix and a bag of frog legs. Now, nah, I'm making that part up. Nobody from wherever it was packaged has come forward and said anything about it, Mrs. McGee said. I'm still a little worried about Mrs. McGee. I'm still angry about it. My husband, he's a big eater, but he's been very cautious about what he's eaten the last few days. And he hasn't eaten much at all. It's put him off his food. Well, I guess if you bite into a dead frog in your salad, that'll put you off your food. All right, let's move on to the next story, shall we? A Florida woman was arrested early Sunday morning after allegedly battering her 69-year-old boyfriend after he refused to perform oral sex on her. Hmm. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Department was called to a home in Largo, just west of Tampa, around 3 a.m. Oh, 3 in the morning on Sunday, following a disturbance between Catania Jordan, 46, and her longtime boyfriend, I know it's his name, 69 years old, according to the smoking gun. The victim claimed that the two had been arguing about Jordan smoking crack. Which one's Jordan? All right, the woman is Jordan. The victim claimed that the two had been arguing about her smoking crack when she began yelling at him and demanding that he perform oral sex. When he refused, she began hitting and scratching him, giving him several small lacerations, which appeared to have been caused by fingernails. That's a fine woman right there. Pinellas County investigators spoke to a witness who corroborate, corroborated the victim's account of the altercation. Jordan fled the house before police arrived and was found after a short, short search with the help of a canine unit. After she was apprehended, Jordan did not deny doing anything, but claimed her boyfriend had choked her and she had acted in self-defense. Okay, lying already. The woman was charged with felony domestic battery and grand theft for allegedly swiping the man's cell phone before she tried to flee. She is being held at Pinellas County Jail on $12,500 bond. Well, there you go, boys. Anybody looking for a good woman? Pay this $12,000 bond here, and you got yourself a beauty right there. Okay. And finally, this happened. <laughs> That's going to do it for today's episode of the Aimless News. Like this video, be sure to subscribe to this channel, and share this video far and wide. Because remember, the Aimless News must be told. 